I've waited my turn here. I followed protocol in the New York City Council and haven't spoken out because I respect this chamber. I have to tell you, you know, I'm still shaken to my core. I'm upset. I'm angry. But I'll tell you honestly, I'm actually somewhat pleased at what we saw here today. If you're wondering why I'm saying that is because for the last few weeks, we've heard from people who said, oh, we're, we, don't, we don't dislike Jews. We only dislike the state of Israel. We have no problem with you. We simply don't want you to go to Israel. But we know that's not really at the core of what they were saying, and today they proved it. While we were discussing a resolution regarding the murder of 1.1 million human beings, I will point out that 90% of whom were Jewish, but the other 10% were political dissidents, they were Jehovah's Witnesses, they were gays. Those were the people who were being killed together in Auschwitz-Birkenau. While we were discussing that, they had the nerve, the chutzpah, the temerity to unfurl a Palestinian flag and to yell at us while we were discussing that. And so the reason I'm pleased is because we can stop pretending that this is about Israel when the reality is that every Middle Eastern country that is in existence today is not democratic and persecutes people of other faiths and persecutes gays and persecutes people who disagree with them and persecutes people on Twitter and persecutes women who drive except for one country, which is the state of Israel. And so what you saw here today was naked, blind, anti-Semitism. That's what you saw, and that's what you watched, and that's what you witnessed. People who are upset for one reason. Do you want to know why they're angry? Do you want to know why they're unfurling that flag today? Because Hitler did not finish the job. He only wiped out half of my family. And only by the grace of God is the other half, me, the grandchild, still alive today. That's why those people are upset. Shame on them. Shame on them for hating Jews. Shame on them for hating people. Shame on them for disrespecting the most diverse, democratically elected body in the United States of America. And that's why we go to Israel. We go to Israel to make a message that is clear that we will not be cowered by this fear and by this hatred that we have, where these are people who would celebrate the death of Jews rather than mourn the death of innocents. I am embarrassed at what happened here today, but I am pleased that we finally see what this is all about. Good old-fashioned anti-Semitism. Thank you. Councilmember Mealy.